Hey guys, it's me, Jack 24 here. Uh, today, I'm going to be reacting to Preach to the Choir. However, though, at the current time, however, I am not reacting to this live, but since I've been busy all day with college visits in Canada, which I'm still in, and uh, pretty much I'll finally be able to react to this uh, as it is. So first of all, I do want to say all of the animation rights and all of the video stuff belongs to Reanimator, and all of the music rights uh, belong to a Black White District, as I'm not trying to make a claim on this whatsoever as my own, as to be honest, if I tried making a claim that this was my own, people would be wondering, wow, I never knew he animated. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's begin, and yes, I've purposely kept it like this just to prove that, yeah, I haven't seen it. However, since I was in Rain's Discord server, I kind of know a tiny bit of the plot. Well, granted, I don't know how it ends, but let's see. Hold on. Beyond the lush. Hold on. Sec. I need to pull that back. I'll check that later. Wait, what? Huh? Why, why are people recommending me the Owl House? I've never even watched it. Anyways, uh, let's, let's just continue. Let's make this a bit comfy for you guys. So now let's see. Beyond the lush caves is the deep, dark, and ominous biome of unspeakable horror. The end crystal must be there, possibly in the hands of the wardens. These blind but powerful creatures have been around since ancient times, lurking in the depths and thriving in total darkness, untouched by the petty swaddles. I'm not gonna lie, that's an interesting cut, and also I'm kind of realizing that this must be Nostra talking. Or if not, or if not, uh, this is still cool regardless. Surface Yep, Nostra. Um, Mike, Michael Zekes as Nostra. It's actually quite interesting. Continue. They don't care about why we need the crystal. To them, we're intruders who must be purged. So it's best we tread lightly and avoid conflict. Any questions? Yeah. For a species all about isolation, how exactly did they get their hands on an artifact not even native to their homeland? What are they going to do with it? Maybe the End Queen sent it. A trial to find out if you're truly worthy as the last Ender Watcher. Uh, still, I don't think that would be the exact uh, reasoning, but I do have a feeling that it was sent there more or less to prevent the Netter from getting it. A successor who will one day save the realm from the evil Nether Kingdom. <laughs> Do you find yourself worthy, Dragon Tamer? Oh, there you go for this. Ooh, an axolotl. Ooh, they're, they're cute. Also, I do enjoy that Rain and Nostra are looking at the potions. <laughs> now, that was in a gif right before Rainimator posted that video. Video on his Discord, which was quite funny to watch. I guess Nostra's checking out the cause of death for those people, since it is in the lush biomes. No uh oh. Uh, this doesn't seem to be going good. Right 
Uh, wait, wait a sec. I'm pretty certain this is when I'm dead words. Uh, I I'm gonna forget how to pronounce it, but I know it's I believe is Zell. Zell, and I know that she controls plants due to Brain's Discord. So yeah. <laughs> I always forget that, what do you call it, undead are affected by healing potions in Minecraft. Which, to be honest, is quite, is quite on odd scale considering that I play the game. But then again, I don't play it that often in survival, so that's probably why I forget it. That seems a bit painful. <laughs> I just like how Stella is just using her book to float. Oh no, no Shra's mask, no. Well, at least they kept well at least Rain kept true to to what the warden's ability is. I actually like Nostra's face. Looks quite interesting. Wait a sec. Wait a second. Did I just see rain pull out? Uh, granted though, I would have to say for an arcane blade, that's a cooler design. Second of all, I'm not certain how rain got both eyes to glow purple. Maybe it's the spirit of Ceres in NM or, or, uh, or it just could be from the Ender Book, or maybe Stella taught him. Who knows? Wait a sec. You can teleport now? Let me see. Yep, he can teleport. I mean, granted, though, in case you guys don't remember in Season 1, well, in the very first episode to struggle, uh, practically, yeah, he just done a few teleporting moves on Herobrine, but then again, I thought it was more of a battle style rather than anything, but I guess this does confirm that he is a part of Ender Watchers now, which is interesting to figure out on how this culture works. He's being Hulk smashed. No. Oh no. The wardens have arrived. Huh? Oh no. The wash biome warden. No. Oh yeah, this doesn't surprise me that she's alive, considering she's an undead like Rain. Hmm, <laughs> that, that just seems unfortunate. Azel, I believe that's what her name is. Yep, she gets knocked out again. No, Rain did the Wilhelm scream. <laughs> D 
this seems accurate. Yeah, I think using too much power does cause a strain for Stella. Alright, I would like to thank Michael Zikas as Nostra, Chris Jennings as Reanimator, and Ellie Monti as Stella, since you guys always do a good job with it. And Rain, thanks to you for animating, but I do want to go back to a few things. For one though, I, I'm pretty certain that here, Rain is now, I believe, possessed by the spirit of either Ceres or one of the other other Ender Watchers, because before, before his purple eye really only acted up a few times, a few times, but I'm not sure, sure if he's getting a better control of it or not. But anyways, uh, that was mainly it, so, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, leave a like down below, comment down below, once again, once again, uh, what do you call it? All of the copy animated copyright belongs to Rainimator, and all of the music rights belong to Blacklight District. Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.